Hi, I'm going to read a little bit from this Joyce Myers book that I bought yesterday. I'm going to go into chapter two, okay? I hope everyone is feeling blessed. Chapter two, the title is, Do You Need an Upgrade? There's a scripture under this um, title, and it's from 1 Corinthians 2.9. It says, but as it is written, what no eye has seen, no ear heard, nor the heart of man imagine, what God has prepared for those who love him. We rush to get every new upgrade available from our computer and phone. We spend money, wait in lines, do whatever it takes to have the newest and best. We are very aggressive about having the best equipment available. But are we an aggressive, as aggressive about having the upgraded life Jesus offers us? The Bible says that the path of the righteous gets brighter and brighter every day. Proverbs 4.18 this, mean this means God is always drawing us toward better and better things. He continually offers upgrades, and we should be determined to have each one of them. Living the best life God has for us will require some effort on your part. You will need to educate yourself on the life he offers and what he and what it truly means to be born again. As a child of God, you have an inheritance and you have certain rights and privileges. But if you don't know about them, you will never enjoy them. We educate ourselves through Bible study, reading good books about biblical principles, spending time with God, and being in community with other people who are seeking God as we are. We also need a lot of patience because God is usually not in a hurry. He is always working in our lives, but we are not always aware of it. Yeah, because we like to rush God. I'll speak for myself, rather. I'm always trying to help God. Oh, Lord, there's other people that might have different stressful conditions that are worse than mine. I got this, Lord. Go ahead and help those who are in need more so than I am. Yeah, right. I'm just as important and in need of God's love and guidance as anyone else. But I'm always trying to help him do his job. How foolish of me, right? Anyway, God is usually not in a hurry. He is always working in our lives, but we are not always aware of it. Simply going to church once a week doesn't necessarily help you attain the upgraded life you desire. It helps, but you will have to also seek God diligently every day of your life, not just once or twice a week. God has provided countless tools for us to help us grow, but we must avail ourselves of them. I want to challenge you to set aside at least 45 minutes to an hour a day and call it your God time. Make it a go, and if you need to begin with less, that is okay because gradually you will desire more. More. You would desire more. During that time, you can study your Bible, talk to God in prayer, listen to a Bible teaching, read a book that will help you understand the Bible better, or simply sit in God's presence and receive His love. All of those are nice, you know. If you do this diligently, you will find over time that you have changed and you are enjoying yourself and your life much more than before. As for me, I could speak only for myself. When I take my attention off of my relationships with other people, might be with like family members, co-workers, a significant other, my children, whatever it may be. And I focus more on God. I 
am less worried about the concerns of others. I mean, I love them. I wish well for everybody. I want well for everybody. I don't know, but my life is more at peace Peace when I just, um, I bathe in the Holy Spirit. I spend time in it. I'm more content. That's what I want to say. I'm just more at ease, more content. All those relationships combined together are wonderful. Don't get me wrong. I love my people. I love my family and friends. I love everyone. But that personal relationship with the higher power, for me it's Jesus Christ and God, the Holy Spirit. For you it might be something else. I just feel content and at peace. And I can see where God is changing me slowly. Nothing is fast here. And uh, I'm just letting him take control. And when I find myself getting frustrated or impatient, I go right into strip scripture. I pick up a good positive encouraging book. I put a video video out there on Facebook and YouTube expressing myself and then I just regroup so if you do this diligently you will find over time that you have changed and you are enjoying yourself in your life much more than before God is no different God has so many wonderful things in his plan for you and I. And during this time, you will learn what they are and how to access them. You can't use what you don't know you have. For example, you have a helper who is the Holy Spirit, and he is with you all the time. Anytime you need help, with anything. All you need to do is ask. Now when we do ask, you got to be patient. Trust me on this. Because the Holy Spirit won't answer you right away, nor will he give you what you want right away. And sometimes the answer may be no, because what you want might not be what is in his plans and what he wants for you. Not everything we want is good for us either. Not everything we feel that we want, we actually need. But the Holy Spirit knows exactly what we need and when we need it. And he also knows when we get it, we will appreciate it. Because through our, pa our patience and endurance, we learn to be respectful, mindful, and appreciate what is given to us through the Holy Spirit. Right? This and many other wonderful things are yours in Christ. So get busy learning about them and start enjoying the upgraded life Jesus died for you to have. Declare this. Say it out loud. God has many good things planned for me and planned for you. And I am determined not to mess. And I am determined not to miss any of them. God has many good things planned for you and I, and we are determined not to miss any of them. So, that's it. That's all I have to say. Until next time, love you.